What's going on, y'all? This Team Money. I'm back again here with a little, little of a rumor. No, the rumor. No, the rumor, though. Um, it's only fair if we can talk about Kevin Samuels because we had covered Kevin Samuels previously. And it's not something that I usually do, but I just felt like, you know, I'm very compelled to do this because everybody's talking about it. And I was like, you know what? Why don't I just throw my two cents, too? Because um, I've covered this guy before okay if you remember very well this is one of the episodes that i did a while ago and um i want to show you the cover so can you see me yes i can okay so do you feel like a woman like me uh-huh what would you rank yourself on a scale from one to ten you cannot use seven would i rate myself mm, just your face um, my face, when I wake up, five, but when I put myself together, six. So that is uh, relationship guru, um, the image consultant, Kevin Samuels. He passed away. He died um, two days ago. And it actually came out as a little rumor, um, but it was confirmed that he passed away. And it feels sad because, you know, uh, your life can just can be taken away just like that with a blink of an eye. And it's really, really crazy how everything just happened with, with this guy because, you know, a, a lot, you know, a lot of people actually wanted to know, Horina, the girl who was involved with Kevin, is she really, was she really, um, people think that she did it and people think that Kevin was on something somewhat we don't know but i'm trying to pull the incident report here from um what was the incident report said okay so the report that was filed um it goes like this okay so this incident was filed may 5th six in the morning 6.04 in the morning, uh, 2022. Uh, it's basically categorized as miscellaneous non-crime. This is the address. This, this is where he stays. This is the, the address that was um, where the incident happened. And apparently, this address, this apartment address, the, the apartment was not under Kevin, Kevin Samuel's name. The apartment was under another person's name. Um, I would think that maybe because he was a very high profile, especially being, I would say he was, uh, with the kind of content that he used to do prior um, focusing on degrading the ladies, he used to go hard on the men. But he realized that it's really not working and he got a lot of haters from the guys. So he kind of shifted his content to towards the ladies. The Shade Room actually just shared that video when he was talking in the car, basically contemplating on changing the content. And putting in something new. And this is exactly what he did. So it looks like the apartment was not under his name. Maybe the apartment was under somebody's name, of course. Um, or maybe it was under his company name. I don't know. But um, the name of the person, the lady who called, um, she is actually... What's her name? She's Her name is a Spanish name. She has a Spanish name and she was born in 1990. <clears throat> She's still young and she is identified as native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander. But she has a, a Spanish name. But it looks like she was that Hawaiian. Kevin Samuels liked Hawaiians. And um, Kevin Samuels was born in 1965, identified as a black African male. Here is what the, the, the report says. On May 5th, 2022, the officer Figueroa Unit 225 responded to a call at 297 East Paces Ferry and E apartment da, 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 regarding a person injured. Upon arrival, the officer observed the fire department engine da, 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 performing CPR to a black male, unresponsive on the floor of his apartment. I then met Miss the Spanish lady, a Hawaiian lady who identified the male as Kevin Samuels. This lady stated that she had just met Kevin Samuels last night, came to his apartment, 
and spent the night with him. She also said that early morning, Samuels complained of the chest pains and she, cont- she attempted to help him, but he fell on top of her and proceeded to notify 911. She also said she requested 911 operator to contact the front desk for the defibrillator to keep Mr. Samuels responsive until the crazy arrived because she is a nurse. Uh, Samuels was later re- uh, transported to the hospital by the crazy and he was pronounced dead. So this lady is a nurse. Um, I don't know. Kevin Samuels had class. I don't know, Hogana, like how could you be talking to the woman, coaching them about the relationship, and then you are out here meeting people at the clubs. I don't know where y'all met, but y'all, according to her, y'all just met last night. Y- you, y'all was never in a relationship. I don't know. I mean, it could be the other things, but it definitely looks like it was just like a one night situation. There's a video that was circulating online when Kevin Samuels was actually having a little argument or he was a little bit irritated with this lady um, telling her that she's, uh, he's about to go in front of the camera and he was like, like, you could see that he was irritated. He was like, go, I have to get busy. I got to do something. And they believe it was the same lady. So I, I really don't know what's going on. But guys, um, this situation is very sad and I, I cannot believe his career was already booming. I don't wish death upon anybody. This is the last thing that um, the family was expecting. Actually, the mother did not even know. The mother actually found out from the social media that his son died. Like, can you believe how sad that is? It's crazy, but it's the world that we live in. All right, guys, uh, I just want to share that with you because I, I had uh, covered Kevin Samuels before and I thought that it was fair to talk about his death. So, yeah. Bye.